Welcome back to the Cube Sports Zone Unfiltered. After a very short offseason, the Houston Dynamo are back in action for their preseason. I caught up with the team earlier this week. I think it's going pretty good. I mean, uh, we're getting a lot of games, which is good. Uh, we've seen some new faces mixing in well with the guys. I think we've had some good results. Um, and the guys are getting fitter every day, which is obviously the, the, the big point of preseason. I guess that's the, the price we pay for, for making it as far as we do in the playoffs. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was quick. But we're happy to be out here. We're happy to to, uh, to get started and you know to uh, to try to win it all this year. Now here to talk more about the Houston Dynamo is their defender of the year from last season, Kofi. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Well, you had some exciting <laughs> accolades this off season. You just got an award from ESPN, their Sports Science Award. I think it's kind of a new thing that they're doing, and yeah. it's for a double save that you had. Just talk about that double save and uh, about the honor. Yeah, the, well, first I'll touch base on honor. Uh, definitely a special congratulations and uh, thanks to ESPN for, for hosting their first uh, ESPN Sports Science uh, new award show. Uh, it was a really neat, real cool uh, experience uh, to see some of the different uh, other players and, and sports people from, from all around uh, the country. So mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was a great experience. Um, in terms of the play, it was, it was kind of crazy. It was a bit uh, just kind of, uh, you know, like, like I said, an outstanding reaction, I guess, uh, if you want to word it. Um, the ball came in. Uh, I didn't have much of an option, so I decided to go on my knees to make the first save. The ball kind of pat, popped back up over my goalie, and uh, uh, fortunately, I had the presence of mind to kind of get over and, and make the next save. So. And so the sports science part of it is what's always interesting to people. I mean, it's, it's captivating. When you start watching it, you're like, oh, wow. Did you know? Did You did, You had to even be impressed, like, oh, so that's how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> that's my reaction time. Wow. Yeah. yeah during, uh, during the event, when they were actually breaking it down, I was like, oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. You really get to see, you know, like you said, uh, the reaction time, you know, how much the goal, you know, they actually had the opportunity of, of putting it into the back of the net and how right. much, you know, I covered. And it, it was crazy. It was really, really neat to see uh, how they broke it down. Well, I can't believe it. You guys are already practicing again. I mean, it seems like your off season is minuscule. A lot of familiar faces, but a couple not on the team. Brian Ching, of course, retired, yeah. and then Bobby Boswell is in D.C. What is it going to be like sort of filling that void? Because they were huge leaders and faces of the team. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it gives, uh, gives us and, and some different players on our team an opportunity now that they're, they're going to have to step up and take bigger roles. Um, like you mentioned, Brian and Bobby, they've been here. They've kind of been uh, in ground, and grounded in the right. team, and they've been so crucial to us. But uh, I think now uh, we're a bit younger. Um, we have some guys that have now have some more, more experience, and they're going to need to, like I mentioned, step up and, and really uh, take on a, a big role this Isn't year. Isn't there also a sense of uh, maybe almost like a, a rebirth, maybe is the right word, because you know it has been known as Ching's team and, sure. and some of these other players that right. have been around, Davis, and, and just yeah. players that have always been there. But now you guys are sort of like, starting anew, but you're still going to be obviously very good because you have been. Right. No, you're right. Rebirth is, is, is actually a great term to use for, you know. Um, we, like I said, we've got a lot of younger guys now um, that have an opportunity to really kind of step up and, and put the team on their shoulders. So that's what we need to do and make sure we just kind of keep Ryan and put in the right work uh, and make sure we produce on the pitch. Now, I read you're part of a royal family. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> do, do you get teased <laughs> by being about being a prince? It's for, you're from your family's originally from Ghana. Yeah, my mom and dad are from Ghana. Um, so coming to America, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> How <laughs> long heard, have you worked I've in McDonald's? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that reference plenty. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the guy, the guys always talk about it. They always crack jokes. My nickname is uh, is Prince on the team. So it's it's fun. It's fun. Well, Kobe, you guys go to Charleston and then you start your season in a couple weeks. I bet you're ready to get those competitive juices flowing. Oh, Always, always. All right. Well, thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. appreciate it. All right. Well, we still have a lot ahead on the Sports Zone Unfiltered. Brian Straw will be here to give us his latest takes on some pretty hot button issues. Stick around.